In this video, we introduce FMB, a functional manipulation benchmark for generalizable robotic learning. Our benchmark consists of a variety of 3D print objects and tasks that require a series of grasping, reorientation, and insertion skills. In addition, we open source a large-scale data set of demonstration trajectories and a set of imitation learning benchmarks for various components of the task. Our benchmark can be divided into two parts, the first of which is a single object manipulation task, where a single assembly object starts lying in the workspace in a randomized pose. The robot needs to grasp the object, perform a series of reorientation steps, and precisely insert it into the board. Researchers can study either individual skills or the entire end-to-end -end task. This portion of the benchmark consists of 54 manipulation objects of various sizes, shapes, and colors, as well as three boards for insertion. The second part of the benchmark is the multi-object, multi-stage manipulation task. We design three assemblies, each having four components that needs to be assembled in a specific order, using the same manipulation skills as the previous task. But with the added challenge of spatial reasoning, to figure out the order to assemble the pieces in. Along with the tasks and objects, we collect and open source a large-scale demonstration data set with 22,000 trajectories for the various manipulation skills in each task. The data set is collected on a Franco arm from two global cameras and two wrist-mounted cameras. Each camera records RGB and depth information. Next, we trained and extensively evaluated a set of imitation learning policies with ResNet Plus MLP, Transformer, and Diffusion architectures. We provide a baseline success rate for individual skills including grasp, rotate, place, regrasp, and insert. In addition, we test some basic methods for solving the single and multi-object tasks end-to-end, -end, including one flat policy which achieves 0% success rate. We also tried a hierarchical structure, with a human expert acting as a high-level oracle, manually triggering either one skill ID condition policy or separate policies for each skill. With the ability to retry and recover from failure, this method can successfully solve the task. More detail of the experiments and the entire benchmark can be found in our paper and on our website, which is linked in the description below.